What's up, everybody? Still talking about the fight. I don't know. Like I told you, I used to have a, uh, I used to have a boxing channel. My YouTube channel was strictly geared towards boxing. I used to talk about boxing all the time. Back when Kodo fought Manny Pacquiao, when Sugar Shane Mosey, uh, when Sugar Shane Mosey was fighting De La Hoya. I used to talk about boxing back then. I used to talk about when Roy Jones was active. I used to talk about boxing all the time. And then I just lost interest in it. I just lost interest in boxing. Because after a while, you get to see. After a while, man, it don't excite me. You know, because a lot of stuff be predictable. A lot of stuff be predictable. That's why I be calling it fights. And most of the time, I'm right. The only fight I got wrong was... The last one, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. But then, after the time my body found out that uh, Ryan Garcia was taking some kind of steroids. So, I guess I wasn't wrong for that one either. Man, I can just tell how people are made up sometimes. You can tell how they made up, who they hang around, what kind of coach they got. People talk about how fast Dante, uh, Javante Davis' hands was when he was hitting the pad. But his trainer got fast hands too. And the thing I never understood is like, I can't understand how you're going to be a fight trainer and you fat. You got to set an example for your fighter. You can't be walking. You you know, your fighter's starving. Your fighter's hungry. He wants something to eat. But you got a trainer that's eating like he going to the electric chair. You know, his stomach way out here. You know, I, I, I made a joke about that in one of my books. It said, if, if you ever get hungry, all you got to do is take a picture of your favorite meal. Take a picture of your favorite meal and rub it on your stomach and how to satisfy your hunger. That's what that's like. That's what that's like. When you hungry, when you boxing and you hungry, man, your legs be shaking and shit, man. You don't be wanting to be around people that eat like that. You eat like you're going to the electric chair. Eat like it's his last supper. You don't want to be around that shit. You be mad. Grumpy all day. The windows open on me, come. Like I was saying, uh, Frank Martin. What I was saying is like, I, and uh, Javante Davis was doing just what I said. He was, uh, he's left-handed. He was walking to the guy. Once he got him hurt, he stopped walking. Out of arrogance, you know, you arrogance. You ready to knock him out like this? Follow him around the ring. Following the guy around the ring. I told you, you're not supposed to walk to a guy. You're supposed to skip. If you're walking to a guy, you're walking. You're walking. What if he catch you with you? What if he catch you like that? What you gonna do then? He's gonna catch you on your wrong foot. You gotta skip to the man. Skip. doing this, you be doing this, but when you do that, you don't go nowhere, you still here, you gotta lift your foot up, man, Oh, yo, you always see me selling my books, right? I'm trying to sell, I need to sell 200 books, 200 books, my books, and my poems and stuff. I'm going to announce it after the video. You'll see it after the end of the video. It's my poems, my jokes, and my New York City philosophy. I want to say ghetto philosophy. People get mad when I say that, but it's my ghetto philosophy. 
It's called. You'll see it at the end of the video. I saw him. You'll see. Hit me up and get a copy. You buy from me, I'll send two books. You buy from Amazon, they're gonna send you one book. But when you buy from me, I'll be sending two books. It's my poems, my jokes, and my ghetto philosophy of my everyday life in America, but in New York City in particular. I'm tired. Like I said, um, uh, what else I was talking about, Frank Martin? Uh, he was letting Javante Davis walk to him, and he just got scared. You know, he, he was doing pretty good. He had Javante lumped up and everything. He just, he, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. The end result is what counts. It's not how you start the race, it's how you finish. The end is what counts. And he was, he was doing pretty good. And when you get against the ropes, he was up flat against the ropes. And that's why Javante Davis started wailing on him. He had his back flat against the ropes. Like this. Flat. Now put one foot in front of the other, man. One foot in front of the other. When you put one foot in front of the other, I'm right-handed. When you put one foot in front of the other, you don't have to cock this hand back. It's already cocked back. It's already back. If you stand like this, then you gotta come back to hit the guy. But if you're like this, it's already back there. It's already back there. And you just turn your body. 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 It's already back there. I was saying you can't fight back paddling. You can. You can fight back and up. You can fight back and up. And then you can then you can switch your feet. Oh, check out my book, y'all. Come on, like I said, I need to sell 200. When I was in New York, I could sell 100 a week. And I sell like 15, I sell 150 a week. Down here, shit is hard as hell. But I need to sell 200. I need to sell 200 books. Hit me up, like I said. You get it from me, I'll send two. I got four. I got four books out. It's poems, jokes, and my ghetto philosophy.